Ho started my grandfather in 1947 when he bought our house into the attic. There were and there are also now the wooden barrels of the original family, the first family of the house. And he started this production from that barrels. And then he bought other barrels and then my father and wife, my wife and so on. And now he's uh, our passion. Okay, so how do you make balsamic? So from grapes, uh, as you know, the traditional balsamic vinegar of Modena is a food condiment uh, obtained uh, from the processing of typical Modena grapes. So the production uh, starts every year in September, mid and September with the harvest. Then the grapes are squeezed and the juice is then cooked, boiled slowly for more or less 24 hours. Then it is poured inside wooden barrels where it becomes concentrated and acidifies for at least 12 years. We use barrels made of different types of wood. Uh, oak, chestnut, cherry, acacia, mulberry and juniper. Because the different types of wood give the product different flavors, different aromas. And always it has to stay 12 years. At least, at least, at least 12 years, yes, because 12 years is the minimum amount of time for the product to develop certain specific chemical and physical characteristics. All the barrels are open on the top, mm -hmm. like this one, uh -huh. as you can yeah. see. Yeah. Of course, this cotton cloth is used to protect the product inside. And the final product is a blend of different ears and a mixture of different types of wood. Mm -hmm. So it gets the different aromas from the different types of wood. And because it is a blend of different ears, on the bottle you won't find a specific ear, but simply aged at least 12 or 25 years. Mm. Yeah. And here you have the actual product stamp. Yes. These are all our products. Actually, uh, this one is the um, official bottle of the traditional balsamic vinegar of Modena mm. because the traditional balsamic vinegar of Modena has uh, its own bottle. So it's always like this, the bottle? Yes, yeah. round and rectangular based. Mm -hmm. yeah. Always 100 milliliters, so one format, one size. So it's quite small. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, there's always this cap on the top, uh, which can be white or gold. Mm -hmm. The color of the cap indicates the degree of aging. So if it is white, it means that the vinegar has aged at least 12 years. Mm -hmm. If it is gold, it's the extra vecchio. So 25 years at least. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And how would you use it? Um, well, uh, these uh, combines well with the main dishes mm. because, you know, the, um, the aftertaste is quite strong. Mm. So, main dishes like risottos, field pasta, tortelloni, ravioli, um, on a pork or beef steak. Mm -hmm. But a few drops are enough, you don't need much. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. ideal, the perfect place for the fermentation of the vinegar because of the temperature changes.
This is Nerone. Nerone is made only here. There are other producers with similar products but different names. We call it Nerone. Nerone means very dark. Because we cannot call it balsamic vinegar of Modena, like the commercial one, because Nerone is made just with grape juice, no wine vinegar, no caramel, same of the traditional one. But we cannot call it traditional balsamic vinegar because Nerone is young, not 12 years old at least, uh, like tradition, this is six years old. And this is sweet, it's not so strong like vinegar, and it's good also, for example, on the ice cream or what do you want, cheese, meat, fish, vegetables. Salad. Yeah. Neron. 